What's up, players? What's going on, Zen dudes and dudettes? So we've been getting a lot of uh, we have been getting a lot of questions lately surrounding. Well, Dan, this is my goal. I want some fat loss. Maybe I want to be cool. You know, look cool and do some awesome tricks. I want to be better at jump rope because I have a CrossFit competition coming up. So there's many different reasons why one would so choose to jump over the rope. So today, guys, we're going to be teaching you how to pick your rope depending on what specific goals you have and then recommending some different things and specs about jump ropes that you should know before going to make your purchase. If you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up below and also subscribe to the channel if you want to make this whole fitness thing more fun and a little bit easier by adding in some jump rope bodyweight exercises so that you can travel around the world and just like live the life you want without having to feel like you always need to be in a gym. That's Zen Dude Fitness. We'd love to have you. Come back again for the next tutorial workout. We'll see you later. Say bye, Brandon. Say it to him. Say bye. Say it, dude. Thank you. What is up, Zen Dude Nation? So before you actually can learn how to jump rope, you need to know how to pick your rope. So first we're gonna talk about rope length here. I've talked about it in the how to jump rope video, but essentially the rope cable should come up to around under your armpit as you can see here, just right up to the nipple area, top of the chest area. Um, that's excluding the handle. So you want your cable that long. And another good rule of thumb is three feet taller than your height. So I'm 6'3", therefore I have a cable that's about 9'3". Now take a look at these cables right here. The nice thing about the cross ropes is that you can buy different length of rope and you can keep the handles. So just buying different cables. Whereas this one right here with the on it, you have an adjustable rope that you can unscrew and change the length of it. So look for ropes like that. When you're picking a rope, look, can I adjust it? Or does it have different cable options with the same handles? Now next for durability, what are you going to be skipping on? Is it gonna be a sidewalk? Is it gonna be a gym floor? Is it gonna be rubber inside of a gym? Um, you want to pick a rope here, obviously at Zen Dude Fitness, we always talk about wanting to be out and traveling in the world. So more often than not, you're gonna be on you know a surface like this, that's cement or pavement. So you want a rope that's going to last in that type of environment. So as you'll see here in a sec, this one that I'm using right here is the cross rope and it has a steel cable. Now there's rubber wrapped, or not rubber, some sort of uh, like vinyl wrapped around the outside of it, but then underneath that is a very strong steel cable that can take a good beating on outdoor pavement without having to worry about it, uh, you know, breaking. Same thing with the honor rope here. You see, you can see here as I go down a little bit further, here we go, you can see that steel cable in there. Um, so this is ideal for skipping outdoors, especially if you are traveling. Now next, here's an example of a rope. It's not necessarily a bad rope, but it's not the most durable type of rope. You see here the plastic uh, beads with just you know a simple rope string. That's probably not gonna last you that long on a surface. Like first of all, it's not that great to skip with. Second of all, it's not gonna last that long on a surface like macadam. Um, next we have a leather rope. This rope overall is just not one that I recommend. This is popular in a boxing uh, you, you'll definitely find leather ropes in a boxing gym. Overall, not that great and not the most durable rope, so just look out for that. Lastly, guys, what is your goal of jumping rope? Are you trying to strictly burn fat? Are you trying to do cool tricks? What are you trying to accomplish? So as you can see here with something like the cross rope, this one is great for both burning fat and at the same time, excuse me, burning fat and at the same time doing tricks. As you can see here, the weight of this rope and the weight of the handles allow me to hang on to lean muscle mass and burn fat at a little bit higher of a rate. And that's the benefit to weighted handle jump ropes and also weighted jump ropes. Now, again, like I said, you can still do tricks with this rope. So it's a good beginner rope. Um, it's durable. And at the same time, you can still get a great workout in. Now, if you are someone who does CrossFit, or someone who is looking to do mostly really cool tricks really, really fast, I would recommend a steel cable adjustable rope like the Onnit one that I've shown, like the one that's right here. Um, this is an example of a steel cable jump rope. So the good part about this is it has nice durable handles, but then look at how fast you can get going with this rope um, in not that long of a time. So very ideal for double unders. You'll see this type of rope done or used in a lot of CrossFit games. So for tricks, this one is definitely more recommended for just fat loss and maybe some tricks. I would recommend the cross rope or one that has that one that's similar that has the weighted handle system and also the weighted rope system.